hey guys welcome back to my channel sierra mist here and happy black history month we need a longer month black history month we, we need like the whole be, year we, we need a, a longer black history month. year how about black history year yeah. for one year yeah out of every two years so today i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five docu-series and documentaries on amazon prime to get you educated on black history and what's going on so here we go so first on the list i have this docuseries called the african americans many rivers to cross this docuseries shows henry lewis gates going to different historical sites and telling stories about what transpired in history since before the slave ships came to the americas and it's just so interesting like all of the information that i've learned just from watching this is incredible i literally felt like i was taking a college course in black history while watching this so i highly recommend this and here's the trailer i've spent much of my life searching for the stories of the african-american people i'll tell the stories of some of the people places and events that made black history black stories of courage determination and the power of hope. Are you prepared to take the oath, Senator? I am. Next on the list, I have Whose Streets. This is a documentary about what happened in Ferguson after Michael Brown was murdered. And this documentary is so eye-opening to the Black Lives Matter movement and just how how fucked up the police can be towards Black people. It's eye-opening. It's very eye-opening watching this stuff and really seeing the truth of what's going on so tune in anybody growing up here you tangibly know when you cross the county line you got to drive a little differently your behavior changes because you know how policing changes Ferguson police just killed a man in front of my apartment people flooded in the area have some experience with police things have never been right for black folks in america we're trying to mourn, and you came here with 300 cop cars, right? You're in canine units. You gonna shoot me too? But that ain't the story that you hear about. It is our duty to fight for our freedom! It is our duty to fight for our freedom! It is our duty to fight for our freedom! It is our duty to A national protest against police bias and violence. They want to know when we gonna go in the house. We ain't never going back in the damn house. It's been 52 days and I've spent more time in jail than Darren Wilson. We can't have people fearful. We can't have police, police officers women. killing people. Chemical warfare that you are not supposed to be able to use on U.S. soil. This movement was born in love, and love always wins. We are raising activists. If there's going to be any change, it starts with our children. This is going to be my fighter right here. Come here. Next on the list, I have a documentary called Out of Darkness. 
This is a very educational documentary about how we have been influenced so much from those who have been in power and how those in power have erased Black people from history in a way that you don't see Black people holding positions of power. This is the type of documentary that will enlighten you and make you feel like the system is corrupt and not make you think, make you know that the system is corrupt and that it influences your mindset and you need to get out of that and think for yourself. So here we go. It's very difficult for people to change their beliefs. Change their beliefs. Change their beliefs. Change their beliefs. That's exactly why it's very important for us to raise our children and socialize them and educate them appropriately with the right beliefs. Because whatever those children believe, believe. by the time they're 12 years old, they're not likely to change it again. In an effort to deny the African origins of culture and civilization, Europeans have, have uh, paid money to send people in to excavate. And the more they dig, the more black they black, find. Black. The and I've often said that in order for um, oppression, racism, slavery to have existed, you had to have every major institution in America complicit. In other words, everyone had to sign off on this. When you got a murder, when you got a rape, when you got to distort, when you got to lie, when you got to deceive, when you got to undermine, when you got to practice genocide against other peoples in order to feel big up yourself. There's nothing supreme about you. But the young brothers are not gonna let that happen. Then out of this, you're gonna have this movement of people. You're gonna have the dynamics of the civil and the human rights movement. You're gonna have this music, these words that are raising up our consciousness. Meaning that music, music, music. creates the consciousness creates the information formulation that human beings use to make decisions. And they set up the Illuminati that's really they're taking the honor and put a what you call negative spin on it. The rhythms and the beats we were using were right out of African drum rhythms that we had never heard before. That's ancestors, that's spirit, that's God. Next on my list is a documentary called Back to Natural. This is about people embracing their natural hair and realizing that their views on natural hair is almost always based on society and how society views things. And it's about embracing who you are. You know what I mean? Like, who cares what people think about your natural hair? And I get it. It's so, it's social, it's more socially acceptable for your hair to be straight. I know, okay? And I'm not dissing wigs. I like wigs. I enjoy wigs. But if it's at the point where you hate your natural hair, like, that's not okay. Like, it's that's not okay you need to love every part of yourself you know what i mean like because trust me i get it i get it i used to wear wigs to um to work interviews and then after that after the first day i'm not wearing that wig no more you know what i mean like so i realized the the ways in which you have to adapt in society but embrace your natural hair as well you know what i mean like here's the trailer hair is a fantastic metaphor for race identity and culture Ooh, maybe you shouldn't go natural your hair is not so great my grandmother told me that i was born with hair bad enough to carry a pistol in <laughs> that's the message that i got and it was very clear that if my hair was more like hers or if it was straighter then it would be better I think that we heal from the messages we get. 
by taking them on. Neither race nor racism exists before Europeans discover Africa. I believe I would have to go back and speak to the civil rights movement. I had always been curious about it and always wanted to try going natural. People just don't know black hair. People have a problem when you don't fall in line. That's scary to people because it means they cannot control you. Because it means that there is a possibility for change. People with natural hair are gaining more and more power. Not a fad. It's definitely a revolution. Because once you change your perception about natural hair, you don't want to destroy it. So it's for us to set that standard. So last on the list, we have After Selma. This documentary explains how their system is fucked up and tries to take away our voice every chance that they get and how yeah basic that's basically what this is about you know what i mean so here's the trailer <laughs> It looks like it's all working, but it's not. Man, that voter must be awfully valued because every time I turn around, somebody tried to take something from me. Voter suppression is not just a Southern phenomenon. This is nationwide. Oh, yeah. Hold on. It might be thin for you. But see, if you progress, you forgot to take me. It is upon us to stand up and fight for this democracy all right guys that's it for my list i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys actually go and watch some of these because i promise you you will learn so much so yeah remember to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you next time peace